There are circumstances in research where you may be interested in publishing your research or looking at peer-reviewed literature in your topic and you're curious about what journals are out there and what journals may be the most well-cited ones in that respective field. Google Journal Metrics offers us a free way of being able to kind of just see what the numbers are out there in terms of citations with respect to various journals that are indexed in Google's uh, indexing database. With that said, these metrics can be biased based upon where funding dollars and things like that are going. So in general, things with a healthcare focus or with more of an economic impact in some cases have higher, you know, H5 indexes. If there's more money, there's more research being done, which means that more citations can happen. So again, these metrics are highly specific uh, to their respective disciplines, but you can also see you know, right off the get-go, the most important or most impactful journals in the world. I wouldn't say most important, but uh, most impactful in terms of when they publish things, their documents get recited a whole lot. So we have Nature, New England Journal of Medicine, Science, Lancet. Those have been, um, you know, viewed as some of the most well-cited publications in the world in the last you know, five years, and many of these have had that reputation actually uh, for a lot longer than that. This one, you know, probably isn't as well known. Um, so up and coming area, computer vision and pattern recognition. Now, um, you may be interested in trying to find your respective journal. So you may click this little uh, magnifying glass and you may be looking for a particular journal. So if you're looking for a journal called microbiology and that's its journal name, it's going to be really hard to find it um, if it's not one of the top 20 microbiology journals in the world because Google Scholar stops at like 20. Um, there may be a spe specialty journal like the Brazilian Journal of Microbiology where it's got a unique name you can find it. When it doesn't have a unique name and it's got a name like microbiology it's among a whole lot and you're going to have to remove a lot of other journals to find it. So how are we going to find this journal microbiology? How are we going to find its H5 index? Well, the Google Scholar Journal Metrics search bar works just like any search bar where you can remove by hitting by after the word microbiology and hit space and then the minus symbol and then type in something like nature and that's going to remove these nature journals or any journal on this list that's got the word nature in it. So those are gone. I can also do minus frontiers, minus trends, minus applied, and I have to remove a lot to get to um, the actual journal microbiology because it's not as high of a uh, journal as the other ones. So I'm going to get rid of a lot of terms here. So I've got rid of a lot of terms and there I see it. Microbiology, Society for General Microbiology, it's got an H5 index of 32. So had I not removed all these terms, you can see it stops at 45 down there, so we would have never seen it. So when I had all the terms there, I was able to get it down to where I found it. It's listed now number 14 here with a score of 32. So that's a way for you to find your respective journal, and then in a future video, I'm going to review what this H5 index value means and I'm going to give a few examples. So I'm going to stop the video here. Um, this is just for you to be able to find any journals that you may not be able to find in the event that um, you're having a hard time getting them into your top 20 uh, given that setting. I wish Google Scholar would make it be top 50 or top 100 um, because they have all the information. They just, uh, you know, narrow it to 20. So we'll stop there.